Hey everyone, I hope you guys are having a great day. Welcome back to another Web Dev Junkie video. In this one, I'm doing yet another CSS battle, and I'm going to be focusing on trying to do number 61. Which, if you click into it, it's called Improv MX. So this one looks like it can be challenging, but maybe it'd be straightforward. So I don't really know. Let's just go ahead and try to build this out. So like always, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the background color of our body be that black and for this ship which looks pretty cool i think what we could do is maybe start with the top of the ship and work our way down so let's just go ahead and position this so i'll say display flex and justify content center just so we can kind of center everything and i'm gonna say align items center as well that just allows us to easy, like, easily uh, center this stuff, I guess you could say. Um, but anyway, so we want to basically try to make that little cap of the ship, whatever that's called, the captain's quarters. And we could basically probably give this a border. I'll say 10 pixels solid and I'll make it that blue color. And it didn't copy for some reason. And then the inside of the box could just be nothing. And let's try to size this a little bit to get it so it matches that top. So the width, we'll try 40 and height of like 30. And then we can kind of move it up. So I'll say position of absolute on this thing. And I'll give it a top of 10 pixels and see where that leads us. So that gives us by 70. 60 or 70 looks pretty good probably. So let's move it up some to like 65. Um, you'll notice that the border looks like it's too much. So maybe we actually want like eight or something or nine and try moving it down some. Let's see, does that look good? No, I think the border is definitely 10. All right, so secondly, we want to make the width of our box a little bit smaller. So I'm going to change it to 35, see where that leads us. And that's still, I think, too big. So I'll do 30. All right, so that looks that looks okay. I think the height's too much. You see here, the ship is kind of like, ours is much higher, so I'll do 20. And that puts us in a good position, I think. And I'm just gonna go ahead and... That looks pretty good. So to save some awesome characters, what you can do is just change these to paragraph tags and style those paragraph tags. And I'm gonna style another one called B and pretty much copy and paste that same styling. And up here, we could add another paragraph of A, or sorry, of B. So now we have a two paragraph tags, B and A, and B could be like the center of the ship. Whatever that's called, if you guys know anything about ships, because I sure don't. So let's go ahead and make this a width of like 150 for the height, and I can move it down to 100 pixels and see where that leads us. I could have swore I had this positioned correctly, so I'm not sure why it just got out of position. So I'm going to move it up to 50. I'm really confused why that got messed up, because it was working pretty good a second ago, so I don't, I'm not really sure. Um, let's try to find a good value for this. So we could do, let's see what 80 looks like, see if that's okay. Our width is probably too much, so let's move our width down to like 80 and see if that matches up. So the width of 80 looks like it's pretty good. And our height looks good as well. Uh, but one thing you'll notice is that on ours, we have like this, the border of both of these and the bottom is, I don't think we need that. So I can say border bottom of none, and go ahead and put it on both of those. And I think that looks okay. All right, so let's try to actually do like the hull of the ship, the bottom of the ship, the base of the ship, <laughs> whatever that's called. So we'll add another paragraph tag of C and we will try to style that. So I'll go ahead and say P of C. And this one looks like it might be two boxes. Uh, I'm not really sure what we could do to get this working. There might be a box on the left that's rotated or maybe it's just one box that's skewed somehow. I don't really know. And then a line down the middle maybe. I'm sure there's a really clever way to do this, but I'm not clever. So what I'm going to do 
is I'm gonna work on the box to the left here and just pretend like it's a box with a border left and top and rotate it. So let's move this thing down. The one, let's do 140. And we're gonna rotate it. So I'm gonna say transform rotate of negative 45 degrees. And that's too much, so I'll try 20 degrees. Not enough. Try negative 30 degrees. I think that angle might be okay. So let's just go ahead and try to position it a little bit better. We could move it to the left some. Let's say negative. Ooh, that's not good. We will say 50 pixels. Nope, we'll say 100 pixels. Nope, 120. That might be kind of close. Let's move it up some. 130. Alright, so the width is too much, I think. So let's try like 60. And we have to probably move it over some. We'll make it a little bit wider. So width of 70. Um, I'm actually going to change this to red. We can figure this out. I think that actually looks pretty good. Alright, so one thing you notice is that we don't want... Um, we want it to kind of stop here. But ours is going really high, so I'm going to change the height to like 30. And see if that gets us in a bit better position. I think that'll be good. And then for here, we don't need a border on the right, so I'll say border right of none. There you have it. So we have a cool little red ship hull. I think it's not, not enough width. So add five pixels or six pixels. Let's try 80. Uh, this is gonna be a hard one. Size 78. Because every time I change the width, it actually like changes the position of this thing. So then I have to move it back over to the left some. And then I don't know. I think that looks okay. Let's try the other box. So let's do another P of D. And it's going to be very similar to this box. Don't worry about the colors. I'm going to fix this in a second. But I just want it so I can actually visualize what I'm doing. So we'll do a P of D and we are going to rotate it 30 degrees. And instead of a border right and none, I also border left, border left and none. And we can go ahead and try to move this over in a better position. So I'm going to say top, our left is 188. Does that look good? Yeah, that actually lined up pretty well. So you can see that they're not overlapping in the center here. So we're going to have to fix that. So we could probably just give one of them more width. That might be good. Hope that lines up. Yeah, I think that lines up pretty good. Let's try the, the center beam. So again, <laughs> let's do another one with P of E. And we could, for one, just copy all this, do P of E. We don't need to rotate anything. And we could just give it like a width of 10 and a height of 50. And we're gonna make this cyan. And we don't want any border at all. So I'm actually gonna say background is cyan. And we could position it over to 200. You know, it should be centered. So I should just be able to get rid of this and it'll be centered. There we go. And then we could probably add some height to it. I'm not sure how much height to add, maybe 60 or 70. And for top, we could just move it up. Move it up some more. That looks pretty good. Alright, I think at this point though, we're good. So let's change the colors of all these. So instead of green and cyan and red, we'll just make it the blue. There we have it. A ship that is not perfectly aligned with the target, but it's gonna have to be good enough for me. So let's add another one, F. And I'm gonna do is add a black bar. 
Actually, no, I'm gonna add a, um, I'm gonna work on this, this one right here, whatever that is, the long horizontal row. And that one, P of F, is going to be a width of 140, 50, 60, 70. I think it's like 200 maybe. 10. Oh, 200. Yeah, 200 looks like it's good. But then the height of it is like 10. And then we just need to move it down. So I'll just add like one, 200. How's that look? Too much. 190. All right, that looks like it doesn't line up. <laughs> Ours is too low. So let's do 188. And that looks good. So you'll notice here that there's like, ours has like extra stuff. Really, I think we just added like a border top of 10 pixels solid black. And I feel like that should help remove it maybe. And by doing that, it moved it down, I think 10 pixels. So what I could do is move it up 10 pixels and uh, that looks pretty good. And then we'll just do the last one. So I'll add a uh, another one, a P of what comes after F, G. So we'll say a P of G. And that is going to be a width of, let's say, 100 and try to move it down some. Nope, oh, width of 110. Okay, that actually looks pretty good. So yeah, I don't know if this is going to be 100%, but you know me, I'm not going to invest a ton of time getting this perfect. Let's run it, see what we get. And dang, we are way off. <laughs> but that's the gist of it. If you have a better solution, post a link. Otherwise, all right, so listen up. This is just one video of a series of mini CSS battles I've been working on. Be sure to watch them if you thought this was useful. And click on the thumbnails or cards that I'm showing you right now if you want to watch them. Thank you so much for watching and happy coding.